Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe Show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day and welcome back to the Valder BB Show. Well, you know, it's really hot and I'm in Texas, but it's hot just about everywhere on the planet. So what have you been doing with your pants? I've got the Dr. Jose, president of the American Veterinary Medical Association, the ABMA, and he says it's important that we and our pets enjoy the warm weather and fresh air. But pet owners should be aware of potential threats. Dr. Jose, welcome to the Valder Baby Show. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for having me. Okay. Uh, tell me about pets. I don't have a pet, but my daughter, I'm like its grandmother. So <laughs> I take care of a pet. Tell me what we need to know about this hot weather, especially in Texas when it's in triple digits. And it's other places too now. Oh, yeah, I think it's across the nation right now. And, you know, excess heat and humidity can lead to a pet to experience a heat stroke. So, you know, one basic rule for me, it's, if, it's, if it's hot outside for you, it's even hotter for your pet. So, you know, w- during these hot times of the year, hot and humid combinations, uh, let's try to walk our dogs outside in the early mornings of the hour, early, early hours of the morning, sorry, and in the evening when it's not so hot and they're not pr- more prone to getting heat stroke. And the same thing, if we're going to have our pets stay outside, you know, because we have to work and they have to stay outside, make sure that we provide them a nice shaded area and they have plenty of water accessible at, at all times. Okay, so if you, and, and I'm so glad people are working at home and, and maybe they can be very benevolent to their pets and bring them indoors. But if they're not working at home, when they... Think about the day. I'm going to be gone all day. What, what are some of the things they should prepare to leave their their pet outside? Definitely, you know, have a nice shaded area, like I said before. Uh, plenty of water. You know, if it's better to leave more water than 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 less water, because you know during the hot times they they are going to consume a little more water than usual. So let's put this you know water bowls in an area where the water will stay a little cooler. Let's not put it by the sun either. And uh, the other thing, if we have a fan that, that we can put outside, one of those big fans, that would be nice too. Okay. What about when you travel with your pet, just running to the grocery store? Uh, I see parents losing some of their children by leaving them in the heat. What do we should be thinking for our pet? Excellent question. The same thing happens, and, and I would say even more commonly with, with dogs because of the fur, because uh, we know that the temperature inside of a car can rise you know, more than 20 degrees in, in just 10 minutes and, and over 30 degrees in, in 20. So if we think, oh, we're going to go into the store and you know, grab some milk real quick, uh, then we run into somebody who start talking and in, in a matter of minutes, our pet's temperature where, where they are can rise from, let's say it's you know, in Texas right now, let's say it's 85 it can, it can rise over 120 degrees in a matter of 20 minutes, and that's not compatible with, with life. So never, never leave your dog inside or your cat inside of a vehicle, even if you think it's just going to be a couple minutes. If you think your pet it was just too hot for them, they come inside, they drink lots of water, if you think they were impacted by the heat or have a heat stroke, what should you do? So we, we're going to look out for certain signs uh, that they can show. Uh, our pets will get really restless and anxious. We're going to see them that they uh, start panting uh, excessively and drooling. Uh, and we're going to try to lower their, their body temperatures slowly. We don't want to do it too fast. So we can put a little uh, room temperature water over their paws, over their bodies. We don't want, you don't, don't get the, the cold water out of the fridge and pour it all over the dog because then we will drop the temperature too fast and that can cause other problems if we see more severe signs vomiting diarrhea 
uh, their gums look abnormally colored or, or their tongue looks really pale, uh, that's not good. And then, of course, if you see, we see that they're, they collapse or they're walking, you know, kind of uh, unsteady, those are more serious signs and that's time to take into a veterinary as soon as possible. But at first, you know, try to lower their body temperature a little bit and then go to veterinary. Right. Dr. Jose, you've given us some important, important tips about our pets. Where do we go online to find more information? Uh, you can go to the uh, webpage of the American Veterinary Medical Association, uh, avma.org, and you'll find all kinds of information about heat stroke, about you know hot weather situations, about traveling with your pet during the summer months, and, and many other uh, conditions and, and uh, diseases that affect our dogs. Thank you so much for reminding my audience that they love their pets and to take care of them like they take care of their other family members. Thank you, Dr. Jose. Have a great day. You too. Thank you for having me. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I broadcast on radio, streaming TV, podcasts, and in print publications. I interview the world's most fascinating authors, all because I love a good book. This summer, I've partnered with WPS for BB Summer Book Giveaway. We're giving away New York Times bestsellers and award-winning books, books that inspire me and I'm sure they'll inspire you. To be eligible to win a copy of Jesus Can Give You a New Life, answer this question. What is God's greatest gift to mankind? You'll find the answer in John 3.16 of the Bible. Send your response to the email at the bottom of the screen. I'm Valder Beebe, and I'll see you for the next Beebe Summer Book Giveaway.